to ready and go. So here we are then, there's the equilateral triangle with the largest possible circle inscribed in it and then the largest possible circles inscribed into the remaining portions. What's the ratio of this to that? Well, it's triangles you're going to use. You know angles, there's going to be similar triangles here. First thing to do would be to think, right, I'm not interested in the rest of the diagram because it's completely symmetrical. I'll just go down this axis of symmetry here from the centres and then I've got these two triangles. Now you actually need one of those triangles. They will be similar triangles, but they'll be similar to this basic triangle, which is the one you're going to use. Equilateral triangle means the corners are 60 degrees. So if I've gone down the axis of symmetry, this portion here must be 30 degrees. And you should know or learn the ratio of sides for a 30-60 triangle, which is one, obviously for the smallest one, two for the largest, root three. Then putting them back into this, if that distance is R, that means the distance from the centre to this point, I'll just call it OA, although you don't actually need to give it any names if you're just doing it yourself quickly for a multiple choice, then that distance must be, comparing to this one, that hypotenuse is twice the shortest side, that must be 2R, I'll just take a note of that. OA equals 2R, but it's this little triangle here I'm going to use, and I'll give that radius small r. So this is the triangle I'll draw now. This is the one I'm going to work with, but compare it with this. So if that part's R, and that's still 30 degrees, so these are similar triangles being equiangular, what's actually left for this portion? There's no point in saying, oh, that's 2R, because that's not going to take you anywhere. No, it comes from what's left over from OA. Now, OA is 2R from this triangle, but OA is made up of several parts. This part is the radius, Again, obviously. This part, again, is the radius of the smaller one. So the part I want is whatever's left over. So this part here will be OA, which is 2R, minus what I've got so far, which is big R minus we R. So that leaves you with R, and I meant to say plus, of course, there, minus R. Now just compare that with this. Similar triangles. But it's simpler in this case because it's just twice. The ratio of the sides here are 2 to 1. So that means that r minus small r must be 2 times small r. There you go. 3 times r equals r. Or small r is a third of large r. Or the ratio of r to r is 1 to 3. Which means the ratio of the areas will be the square of that. So the areas will be, you don't need to put the pi times it because it's only the ratio of them. The area must be 1 squared to 3 squared, which of course you wouldn't write down because you just do multiple choice, is 1 to 9. And that as well.